all right so what is going on today youtube got another busted mcbusted play of the week now if this is your first time watching this what we do with this uh with this certain video what i do with this video is i i come up with just random combos that probably not the most logical or probably not not the most competitive or the you know most consistent but it is a combo and we're going to be doing busted stuff with us now this combo revolves around a costume magician and abusing it as many times as you can in once per in one turn now if you guys don't know a costume magician isn't a once return effect you can only link summon at one time but if you guys know zombies you know we can special summon a, a whole bunch of times so if we activate zombie world we can keep bringing back Akashic Magician and doing plays like that. That's what this is focused on. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So, without further ado, we're about to get started. But before I do, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this, leave a like, leave a comment, share it. Also, subscribe. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel because that's all I ask for right now. And, yeah, that's enough. And let's go ahead and get started. So, the three cards that you need um, are uh, Venus. And you need to, uh, what's the name? Matter, matter of fact, the cards that you need for this specific combo is you need um, <clears throat> Zombie World. This is a card you definitely need Zombie World and Venus. Now, these two, I mean, it could be something else, but once again, it all depends on your hand. It depends on what's what and all that jazz. So, we're going to start off with a Venus. We're going to activate this young man, young woman. My bad. I'm sorry. Please don't, please don't, uh, please don't uh, get, get triggered in the comments. But, what we're going to do is we're going to be getting out all three shine balls because see, nobody wants a shine ball but it's also important where you put these monsters you definitely want to leave a monster in this zone this zone or this zone because yeah you definitely need to oh well almost messed up on the first play but what you want to do first is start off with an akashic magician you definitely want to go to this first because you want to get it in the graveyard that's how most of these plays go so then we're going to use that and because everything is the same type we can go into a summon sorceress and uh, we can get a zombie from our deck. Now, if you guys don't know about zombies, Goblin Zombie is pretty good. So <laughs> we're going to be getting that. It's not once per turn. It doesn't negate the effect and it's as many times as you can do it. So we're going to get the uh, Goblin Zombie out and then we're going to go into our first firewall using uh, <clears throat> the summon sorceress and the Goblin Zombie. So the Goblin Zombie is going to go ahead and search us a Mizuki. And so now what we're going to do is activate Reverend Dread Origin. We're going to banish a two-star uh, Shine Ball because it is it's a zombie because of Zombie World and the Mizuki in our hand. We're going to put the Slayer over here. It doesn't really matter where you put the Slayer as long as you just don't put it right there. So we're going to use this Mizuki and then we're going to start off with our first Akashic Magician. Now, once again, folks, this is not like the, now uh, we're, what we're going to do with Akashic Magician because this deck is busted and we're trying to be as busted as we can we want to add burial to our hand so if you don't hit burial it's fine you're still going to have two more chances to get towards it so we did hit it off of that fine and dandy but like i said you're still going to have two more chances besides this part to get to a burial so what we're going to do here is that we're going to go into a proxy dragon using slayer and a kashik magician bam we're going to activate that and we're going to activate our firewall now if you want to play around ghost ogre you make firewall chain link one and if you want if, if they, they should ghost ogre this but if they don't you guys know you, you know what i'm talking about so goblin zombie gets special summon right there and then strix uh Stryges, um <clears throat> goes over here and so what you do now is you use these four to go into a skull deep which is probably going to be another 60 dollar card so you definitely want to go i mean not definitely want to go but you need to go into a skull deep skull deep is uh now there here's where it gets a little uh convoluted now if you don't have a burial you don't hit a burial or you don't have anything to pretty much recycle mizukis with this uh what's the name i don't know that was pretty good but <laughs> with this goblin zombie you probably want to get the solitaire but since we do have the burial from different dimension we're going to grab gozuki so like i said it all depends on your hand this is why i said this deck kind of takes i mean not kind of but it is kind it's, it's random but like i said you're cycling through 12 cards immediately we already went through eight so now what we're going to do is send another mizuki and now here is once again where it gets to the point of like i said if you do the regular combo you're guaranteed to get through you're guaranteed minimum you're getting through 12 now 
like i said you activate akashic again because it's not once per turn and once again it depends on your hand you can call soul charge you can call ash blossom it depends on your hand and what do you want to do but once again we're trying to go for another burial so that's what we're going to do soul charge but oh we hit a burial okay so now we have two burials and a miracle deck now what we can do is we can use this burial because we have to and like i said they're pretty much expendable at this point in time we can go ahead and just put these two back and then what we can do here is use mizuki for a uh goblin zombie and you guys got to remember that what's the name is still i mean zombie world is still up so everything in my graveyard is mizukiable i can mizuki back a firewall dragon and that's what we're going to be end up doing but i'm just saying we can literally go and we can mizuki anything in our graveyard right now so what we want to do is go to another skull deep because with another skull deep we can once again cycle through more cards which is just busted we're going to draw four we're going to put back this that and a origin because you, you don't need it after this you can just put it back in like i said this is not what you're going to draw all the time but i'm just trying to show you guys what's possible like i said now we don't went through what 16 cards we don't went through 16 cards so you're going to i mean you're going through 16 cards right so I mean, the, the chances of you, I mean, the chances of you hitting a burial or a miracle dig or one of these cards is very high. So work with me, folks. So now what we're going to do is summon the uh, what's the name to send our last Mizuki to the graveyard. And now, once again, we can go to another Akashic Magician because just because we can, because like I said, and then now, so this is 20 cards we don't cycle through. So now, what you want to do is since you already have your burials, if you don't have burial. You guys already know the course of action. You call burial. You didn't mill the soul charge. You call soul charge. But we're going to call Ash Blossom because why not? Let's see. All right. We hit a Ash Blossom. There we go. Like I said, now that's 20 cards we done cycled through. That, you know, like I said, if you don't hit burial, miracle dig, you don't hit any of these cards. It's just, it's unlucky for you. That's the only thing I can say. If you don't hit any of these cards through 20 cards that you done cycle through, you just have there's just no way you're, you're you're meant to win anyways so we're going to use those two to go into a cypher and lord omega and like i said if they have a ghost target you definitely want to play around it but you don't i mean if they don't then bam you can get this so now we're but we're just even more busted if we're going to use omega to get rid of a card out of the hand they have a lava golem isn't that cool so now what we're going to do is return we're going to return the three mizukis like i said this could be a burial this could be the miracle dig like I said, you're going to be cycling through some cards. So this is why, oh shit, excuse me. But uh, another thing is that you do not need to, what's the name? You don't need to call Ash Blossom at this specific moment because if you milled it with a costume magician, you can always add it back with this firewall dragon that we're going to be dropping because we're just using what's the name right now. We're just using whatever you want. Um, so we're not, not using whatever we want, but we're just using a whole bunch of cards. So here, what we're going to do here is get back proxy dragon yeah we're going to get back proxy dragon because now firewall is at two and then now what we can do is we can mizuki since we do have a burial we don't really need to what's the name we don't really need to uh uh mizuki that right now we can just go into our firewall right here um like i said then like <clears throat> since we do have burial you can just make this you can just do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with this but now what we're going to do like i said you still have the this you can still just do a whole bunch of plays it's, it's completely up to you so what we can do is we can just activate this to add back um let's see uh let's just add back a let's add back gofu for no reason because at, at this point you already done digi combo so now what you can do is use this and this to go into a firewall right there and the reason why you want to do that is because you want this to be over the, the threshold for the eradicator and like i said you still have a burial you still have you know what's the name you can just do a whole bunch but since that's pretty much all we wanted to do and another cool thing which you can do is you can bury your back the omega and then literally drop it again which is i mean then just mizuki for a uh mizuki for omega right out of your graveyard so there you go you can just bring back omega bam and then you can also bring back another firewall if you want to bam right there and so now you get another firewall effect if you want to and you know they're at 2800 and you got mizuki so what you can do is this during the draw phase you can activate this one first because 
when you do this one first you can check their hand to see what they got there we go we hit all of those cards let's see they want to kill omega that's once again fine um he can kill omega all he wants to and then like i said since it's not really anything and we know he has the uh we know he has multiple firewalls in his hand we can just go ahead and add back um gosuki and um i guess a goblin zombie and then we can activate this again to add back a i, I guess an acoustic magician but yeah, like I said, man, you're going to be cycling through at least 20 cards. And let's just activate Eradicator. Like, you're not going to immediately get all these cards. But I'm just saying, you cycling through, you cycling through, you know, a, 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 just a mess, a, 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 a big old, you know, mess ton of cards. Jesus Christ. Um, but you, you're, you're cycling through 12 cards. I mean, 20 cards minimum. I mean, not minimum, but like you're doing 12 cards minimum. You can do more. But, you know, like I said, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the combo. And all I took was three cards. Now, like I said, you do have to get kind of lucky hitting burials and miracle digs and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, besides all that, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much combo. Let me know what you guys think about it. And, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow.